to this video. In the previous video, we learned to find the mode of grouped data. In this video, we will discuss about median of data. So, let us start with the median of ungrouped data. We can assume from the name median that there must be some involvement of center point here. This means that the median is the value which separates the values of observations exactly into two parts. Can you tell what would be the median of the temperature of the following 10 days? For median, we first arrange the observations in ascending order or descending order. Then, we assess the observations and find whether they are even or odd. As you can see, the total number of observations given is 10, which is even. We have learnt that if the number of observations is even, then to get the median, we have to find the mean of n by 2th observation and n by 2 plus 1th observation. From which we get the median of the entire data as 16 degrees Celsius. And if the number of figures would be odd, then the median here would be the value of n plus 1 by 2th observation. Let us now discuss this in detail. There are 102 ice creams in an ice cream parlor. If the price of ice creams ranges from 15 rupees to 45 rupees, then with the help of the given data, find the median cost of the ice creams. Let's try to solve this. We know that for median, we first need to arrange the data in ascending order and display in the following way. Given that the number of ice creams that is n is 102, which is an even number. From which we can tell that the median will be the average of the 51st and 52nd observations. But here we do not know the value of both these observations. So, can you tell what we need to do to know the values of these observations? Let's see. For this, let's create a new column. In the first line, let's group the ice creams that are priced up to 15 rupees. They are 20 in number. Similarly, in the second line, let's group the ice creams that are priced up to 20 rupees. Their total number is 43. Because in this, 20 ice creams that are priced up to 15 rupees are also included. Thus, a new column is formed in which the last row consists of 102 ice creams that are priced up to 45 rupees. This column is known as the cumulative frequency column. From the above table, we can see that the 51st observation is 22 and the 52nd observation is 24 because out of the 102 ice creams, the price of ice creams from 52 to 69 is 24 rupees. Now, if we take the average of 22 and 24, then it gives the median of the prices of ice creams as 23 rupees. Therefore, we can say that almost 50% ice creams are for less than 23 rupees and the remaining 50% ice creams are for more than 23 rupees. Remember that while creating the cumulative frequency, in every next line, the frequency of the previous line is added. In this video today, we learned about the median of ungrouped data. In the next video, we will learn to find the median of grouped data.